This is part of our Science vs. Cinema look at Black Panther. On this segment, we take a look at the movie's portrayal of scientists. I have great things to show you, brother. Movies love to stereotype scientists as white dudes in lab coats, especially old white guys. Some of us have come to call it the freak show. <laughs> Science is a global enterprise. I lead a collaboration of more than 150 people called the Global Supernova Project, with participants from every continent and too many countries to name. That's one of the amazing things about science. It transcends political and cultural boundaries. Think about how many cultures contributed to our concept of time. The Egyptians gave us the 24-hour day. The Babylonians gave us months, minutes, and seconds. The Norse named most of our days. The Romans gave us the modern calendar. The British gave us time zones. Americans gave us the atomic clock. And a German Jew working in Switzerland gave us relativity. Since much of this is based on astronomy and physics, many people came to the same conclusions. But no one culture had all the answers. There are too many modern examples to name, but I'll give you one from my own research. Last year, the LIGO and Virgo experiments detected two neutron stars merging together by measuring the distortions in spacetime from their gravitational waves. Then six groups from around the world, including my own, discovered a new kind of explosion from the merger, a kilonova. They produced most of the heaviest elements on the periodic table, including gold. We were the only ones to catch the explosion rising to a peak brightness before declining. That's because we have telescopes placed all over the world. When we first discovered the explosion, it was over Chile. But then, as the Earth rotated, we picked it up again over Australia. And then, eight hours later, we saw it over South Africa. We initially thought we'd missed some of the earliest behavior, but our South African colleagues came to the rescue with a spectrum that they had obtained hours before us. In fact, 3,500 scientists from all over the world came together to write one huge paper announcing the discovery of the first kilonova. I've been all over the world to talk about astronomy. Today we're going to talk about rockets. And the enthusiasm I've seen from young people is amazing. It's about equally divided between boys and girls, but I noticed more of the older girls start to think it isn't for them. A lack of role models is partly to blame. Even though some of the African kids I talked to had a world-class observatory in their backyard, they just didn't see themselves as scientists because it wasn't the message the media had shown them. This is why Wakanda being shown as world leaders in science is so important. And it's why Shuri is my new favorite character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Fully automated. And I made them completely sound absorbent. Guess what I call them? Sneakers. Because you... What a performance by Letitia Wright. She sounded convincing with the technical jargon while still being able to convey humanity and humor. Great, another broken white boy for us to fix. This is going to be fun. White males have been vastly overrepresented as scientists in comic books and cinema. You know, you should come by Stark Tower sometime. Top 10 floors, all R&D. You'd love it, it's Candyland. Thanks, but the last time I was in New York, I kind of broke. Harlem. But here's a character who can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Reed Richards, Tony Stark, or Bruce Banner. Oh. The structure is polymorphic. Right, we, we had to attach each neuron non-sequentially. Non Why didn't you just reprogram the synapses to work collectively? Because we didn't think of it. I'm sure you did your best. And she's somebody Africans, African Americans, and girls from all over the world can see themselves in. Sometimes inspiration comes from seeing and, and seeing someone else do it and seeing that it's possible. I was inspired to be an astronomer after seeing Star Wars as a kid. In that sense, Black Panther isn't just escapist entertainment, it's a turning point. There are millions of Shuris out there who just got their own permission to change the world. And isn't it wonderful how Kids are dressing up like you and yep. they're responding to a woman being excited about math and science. Yeah, it's something that I always like dreamed about, you know, and every time I see one of the kids like <laughs> dress up as Shuri or have the face paint or, you know, the gauntlets and the costume, it just makes me happy. If you like this segment, check out the rest on Black Panther and subscribe to Science vs. Cinema. I'm an astrophysics professor, but I'm also a huge film geek. On this show, we take a look at the science in movies. We celebrate when they get it right. It's something that could actually happen. And we school them when they get it wrong. See what happens when we introduce some Martian wind. 
This is Science versus Cinema.